want to be talked about. I don't care what they say. Go bandy my name about. In the end, it's bound to pay. You're in the swing when nothing daunts you. Once you're in demand, the whole world wants you. Long as I'm a big sensation, I can get along on my reputation. Ladies and gentlemen, I started this video several days ago before I was diagnosed with COVID. So I'm going to post it now and I hope you enjoy. Everybody has always called Megan a social climber and you have to wonder why. And so I think it's important we look back at her dating history. Megan started dating Trevor Engelson, I hope I'm saying that correctly, in 2004, and six years later, they got engaged, and in September of 2011, they got married. Now, according to Lady C's book, she lived off of Trevor and let Trevor pay most of the bills while she was going to casting calls, and he, Trevor could have put her in some of his productions, but he didn't want to, and because he didn't want to, Megan began to have a grudge against him. And in the end, she was like, how dare he hold his integrity against me? And I got to suits on my own. And that's why she divorced him. Now, Lady C's book also said that Megan became somewhat embarrassed of her husband, and she had what she considered to be a new classy circle of friends, and she just didn't want to be bothered with Trevor. And so she made the decision to cut it off. And her friend who told Lady C this said it was very calculated, and once she made the decision, she did it. Doesn't that sound familiar? The next person that she had a long relationship with is celebrity chef Corey Vitaelo. And again, I'm having trouble with the names, but they dated for several years and went to several awards shows together. And in April of 2016, they broke up suddenly. According to Lady C's book, the breakup had a lot to do with a dinner that had been cooked that Megan took full credit for when she had not prepared any of it. Could you imagine being a celebrity chef and creating a fabulous dinner and having friends over and having your girlfriend say, no, 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 it was all me? Then, of course, she moved on to poor Prince Harry, and we all see how that's turned out for him. So while it was never confirmed, supposedly she also dated pro golfer Rory McElroy. So even though they were spotted out together at dinners and even though he helped her with the ice bucket challenge and even though they were stuck at the hip, neither one of them would admit to dating. And of course, you see pictures like this one where she's hanging on to Alex Soros, son of billionaire George Soros. Now, it's also believed that she dated for a short amount of time writer Sean Zakin, and he has worked on shows like Mystery Girls, Nail Files, and actually made a cameo appearance on Sex and the City as a waiter. After college, she supposedly dated TV actor Brett Ryland, who lived in LA and starred in television shows Mother's Little Helper and South of Nowhere. Are you guys starting to see a pattern here? Everybody that she's dated has been a stepping stone to bigger and better things. I don't think she was serious about any of them except for Trevor. And then when Trevor wouldn't do what she wanted, she literally just cut Trevor out of her life like he never existed. And to end this video, I just wanna say thank you to all of you for your comments, uh, wishing me well and hoping I get better soon. I hope I do too. But of course, there are always those that are bad seeds in the middle of the apple. Tina Schultz wrote that I was a joke, or what a joke, and CMCJ wrote that uh, they don't care less about me, as you can see above, and that I'm pathetic. Needless to say, I'll be reporting those comments. They'll be removed, and hopefully YouTube will ban them from my channel. So you guys make sure to contact me on Yahoo and leave your comments here. I have to have something to do while I'm laying in bed. I need to do research, so send those suggestions and give me your thoughts, and have a great day.